Hello everyone. In this series of videos, we are going to learn how to make Android app. Uh, so basically to make Android app, we are going to use MIT App Inventor. So to run MIT App Inventor, we would require latest version of Google Chrome or uh, Mozilla Firefox. It won't work on Microsoft Edge or Internet Explorer. So I have Google Chrome, so I will open my web browser. In this URL bar, type ai2.appinventor.mit.edu. Link is in the description. So, first you need to enter your Google account details. So, I have logged in my Google account. We need to allow this access. So, these are the terms and conditions of using MIT App Inventor. You can read this and then uh, click on accept. So this is our MIT App Inventor. So to construct a new project, we will click start new project, the start new project button. And I will give a name. Uh, <coughs> we can use only alphabet. To name our app so I will write app so this is our list and this project has been added to our list wait for some time and this will open so this is a main screen of our project our name of project will be displayed here this is screen name if you want to add more screens you will click on add screen and then click on OK. And if you want to remove a particular screen, select that screen from here and then click on remove screen. So basically in this, there are two modes. This is designer mode. In this designer mode, uh, we actually we construct the user interface of our application. And in blocks, we will program our app. So first of all, we need to make UI of our app. I am going to add a button. So I have selected one button, dragged, dragged it and dropped it on this screen one. This is our palette. There are many different items available in this palette. You can see this is layout, media, multimedia, for example, camera, video recorder, sound player, Drawing and, drawing and animations, maps, sensors, everything is available in this palette. And this is a preview screen. This is our component list. I have added one button. So in this screen one, one button has been added. This is property of that particular component. In this case, button one has been selected. So these are properties of button one name of this component is button one and text is text for button one don't get confused in this name of this component is button one and text in this button is text for button one we can change this name as well as this text so first of all i'll change this text so i need to select this button and scroll down and you can see one property this is text for button one okay i will delete this and uh, write say hi so this text has been changed we can change the background color of button by using this so i like red so i have change my background color to red font of the text tick this check mark if you want bold font tick this if you want italic font this is font size of a text we can change the size of this text using this property this is font face this is height width 
of this button so in this case by default it is automatic i can change it if i click on fill parent so button will fill this screen completely see this is height and in case of this height i have selected fill parent so button have selected or oh sorry button have occupied entire height of the screen and in this case again if i set fill parent for width so button size has been increased and it will occupy entire screen if i want to set a particular percentage that the height of the button will be 10 percent the height of screen so i will select percent and then type 10 so this is 10 percent the height of total screen and in this case i will say 10 again so this is 10 percent the width of this screen if you want to add any particular image in this button you can add this click on this upload file and select the file and click on ok this is shape if i want to change the shape there are four different shapes available this is the default shape rectangular shape rounded oval so with this we can change the shape feedback if you want feedback from the button tick this check mark text i have already told you text alignment center and text color if you want to change the text color you can change it from here so i have selected none so text will be removed and if i select say gray so text color will be changed to gray okay so these are the properties of button now I will select the screen so the properties of this screen will be displayed almost similar to the button if I want to align all the components present on the screen I will use these two properties say if I want to set this button at the center I will set align horizontal and align vertical to center this is app name if you want to add any background image you can add this background color so background color becomes green screen animation and there are so many properties basic properties okay so now I will add a media component I will add one text to speech converter so this text to speech will be added to non visible component over here and also to our component list and these are its properties these are the properties of text to speech converter okay so this completes our UI now I will program this so I will click on this blocks on <coughs> I will click on this box so my programming window will open so it supports simple drag and drop programming so for the click event of this button that is this button its name is button 1 so on the click event of button 1 This is when button one dot click. That this means that when button one is clicked, I will call text to speech. So I'll click on text to speech, and these blocks will appear. I will select this call text to speech. So when button one will be clicked, text to speech one will be called that means 
this component will be called and this will speak some message if I enter some message over here it will speak that message so I will add some text over here I will select this block and type hi or say how are you so you can type anything over here it will speak this message so overall in this app when I click this high button that is the button one text to speech will be called and text to speech will speak how are you so this is a basic project now if I want to test this project I will click on build and click on save apk and I can transfer this apk file to my mobile phone and install this app or another way I will click on this connect and then click on AI companion one QR code will appear scan this QR code using your mobile phone you need to download one app called MIT AI2 companion once you will open that app your camera will open and using that camera you need to scan this QR code and this app will automatically open on your phone and there you can test this app remember one thing MIT AI2 companion will work only if your PC and your mobile phone is connected to same router that means they should be connected to same network connection thanks for watching if you like this video hit the like button subscribe our channel and stay tuned for new videos thank you